A warm good morning to one and all present here. Myself, Dr. R. Abhinaya, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry. I welcome you all for the program Generalization of the Department, Biotechnology Department. Now I request Dr. P. Udaiklama, Director of IQAC in Chemistry, to deliver the welcome address. We welcome you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, Abhinaya. Uh, a very beautiful morning wishes to all the biotechnologists who gathered here today and uh, students. Others, I think, can mute your mic so that it will be comfortable. Yeah. So it's a very morning wishes to you all. On behalf of first year engineering and technology, uh, we welcome you all for this familiarization of the department. And students, you're all really gifted today to meet your department HOD, Dr. Rajeshwari Hari, who's uh, very fondly called by her uh, students as Iron Lady. Yes, a very strong, determined lady, and who's doing a beautiful service for the Department of Biotechnology. And so, uh, I think she's going to share a lot about her department to you. Madam, we welcome you uh, to meet your students, share and a lot about your department and interact with your students today. So with this very short welcome, once again, I welcome you all and I'll just give the screen now to the organizers. Over to the organizers. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for your wonderful welcome address. Now I request Dr. K. Prabhu, sir. Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, to introduce our chief guest, Dr. Rajeshwari Harima, Head, Department of Biotechnology. Sir, over to you. Yes, ma'am. My voice is audible, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Good morning to all. Uh, this is uh, Dr. K. Prabhu from Chemistry Department. It is my privilege to introduce the uh, of Biotechnology, Dr. Rajeshwari Harima. She has completed PhD in Biomedical Sciences with a specialization in Biochemistry and Pharmacology at Madras Medical College, Chennai. Completed MSc Biochemistry with distinction at uh, Sita Lakshmi Ramaswamy College, Tiruchi. She has completed 24 years of teaching and uh, 20 years of uh, research experience at present, guiding seven PhD students and the three funded projects applied. Madam got Siri Award by Indian Association of Biomedical Scientists for the year 2009, paper entitled In Vivo Antioxidant Activity of the polyethyl ethanolic extract on liver against carbon tetrachloride induced oxidative stress in Vista rats. Ma'am has published 47 research publications and 4 book chapters under these 33 papers published in Scopus. With this brief introduction, I welcome you, ma'am. Over to Abhi, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you, now I request uh, Dr. Rajeshwari, ma'am, to take over the session. Uh, uh, good morning uh, to all the people present here. Uh, thank you for the wonderful introduction given by Dr. Duday Kala ma'am and Dr. Prabhu sir. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, present a video about our department, Abhinaya ma'am. Uh, yes ma'am, I, I wish. Okay. Abhi, is there any audio? Audio is not coming. Um, audio okay, Kale, ma'am. Illa, ma'am. Video, Varadha. Audio, could you check? You have muted the audio, ma'am. One second, I'm
Abhi, you unmute your screen first. Unmute your screen. Ah, Ippo, ah, yeah. Now is it, it's audible. First in front First in First in the front of Abhi, what happened? Anyone who's having the video can share, I think so. Have we checked to that? One second, ma'am. Mimi, your video is not presented. Video audio is not presented. Shall we ask our uh, HOD IB team madam to present it then? They can present it from their screen also. Um, we are trying now. Trying now. Trying now. Ah, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ma'am, voice is uh, not uh, audible, ma'am. Uh, you can share, ma'am, if it is possible. Echo, ma'am. Echo, ma'am. Ma'am, Rajeshwari, ma'am. Uh, here it is not uh, audible, ma'am. Uh, shall I, uh, shall I, uh, shall I uh, present the thing? If I have, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. One minute. I will just in the lesson. Doctor Anzia Engineering College was originally started in the year nineteen. Yes, so yes, tell me for not presenting, ma'am. Ah, screen not shared, ma'am. In the bar, screen share, screen share, screen share, screen share. One minute, one minute. Present now, poet. In order, yes. Okay, ma'am. Open at the first stage. I am a little bit of a I'm going to go to the video. I'm video. I'm to the university in the year 2003 in the name of Dr. NGR Educational and Research Institute University. The mission of our university is to make our students as job creators and not job seekers. Along with producing many engineers and researchers among our graduates, we have striven to contribute positively to the society through a range of activities. Vision of the Department to be a key driver of economic growth by stimulating the regional innovation system 
and disseminating knowledge to serve the nature and living system. Our mission is to advance in biological process to improve the human health and national economy. We attempt to accomplish our mission by imparting the knowledge innovatively to generate valuable products or process. Institute has a vision of entrepreneurship. So we have an incorporation of innovation and entrepreneurship in the curriculum. We have a very active entrepreneurship cell which we call InnoFi. Our ambition is to make the students frontiers in all fields of research and development. We have nine laboratories which imparts knowledge to students to improve human lives by providing identification methods for all manner of microbial infection and diseases. Our students gain the obligatory practical skill for the isolation and maintenance of plant cells and animal cells in vitro. Also, it gives sound understanding on several areas including evolution of autoimmune disease, immunodeficiencies, immunoproliferative disorders and allergy using antigen and antibody. It gives an understanding to the students about the molecular mechanisms behind cellular process which provides insight into many aspects of modern biology. Center of Excellence With a vision to make the center the best interdisciplinary center for the research, innovation and entrepreneurial training. MSME Government of India New Gen IEDC Department of Science and Technology Two of our MGR New Gen IEDC incubators got selected for student startup Nidhi grant worth 20 lakhs. Our collaboration IIT Pauls, students from our department attend guest lecture, technical talks and workshop conducted by IIT Madras to empower their scientific knowledge. Every year, 60% of students place to the Tier 1 companies and other 40% choose to go for their higher studies. The facilities available in this university is really awesome, especially the lab facility. We can gain more practical knowledge here. We conduct many national and international events. The recent highlight was Heticon 2018, where 2,800 students actively took the staff members have participated in the International Founders Program in the theme Artificial Intelligence in Biomedical Big Data and Analytics. Hundreds are organized by the Taipei Medical University. Taipei have participated in the International Intelligent Ironman Trade Week Contest. We organized and funded by Ministry of Education, Taiwan. Participated in the delightful Istanbul Summer School Program. Organized by Istanbul Organ University. The Department of Biotechnology is one of the pride of our university and they strive for excellence. Excellence in the area of uh, building employability skills for the students, excellence in the area of research so that they make a good contribution towards nation building. The Department of Biotechnology has created excellent students. Uh, we have a lot of our alumni uh, working abroad and uh, creating a great name for this wonderful university. Department of Biotechnology and also a master's graduate on stem cells and regenerative medicine from University of Chester, United Kingdom. Make sure you use all the laboratories and facilities and staff members will be always ready to help you and motivate you. Hi guys, this is Manak. I completed my B.Tech in Biotechnology from Dr. MGR University. I passed in year 2015 and currently I am working as a certified risk adjustment coder in United Health Group. To conclude, in the field of biotechnology, we have been researching in the fields of cancer biology, phytopharmacology, and also drugs being developed towards retarding or eliminating Alzheimer's. We, the Department of Biotechnology, dream big, sparkle more, and make our students shine brighter in the field of research and development. Uh, thank you, thank you, Abhinaya, uh, for the slide presentation. Uh, I'm very sorry for the initial uh, uh, technical difficulty happened uh, in the presentation. I'm sorry for that. Uh, anyway, let me introduce my department. Uh, initially, I would uh, tell you the 
Um, Ma'am, is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, before going into the details of our department, let me introduce my staff members. Actually, we have uh, we have uh, we have well trained and highly uh, uh, knowledgeable faculty members are there in our department. And initially, uh, I would introduce. I wanted to introduce them. Uh, myself uh, already, Dr. Prabhu sir has given a nice introduction about me. So I don't want to uh, once again uh, tell my uh, the credentials. Uh, I'm a phytopharmacology person as far as research is concerned, and I, I have totally 60 publications. And uh, Dr. Bika Raman is our uh, Emeritus Professor, and uh, he has guided uh, almost 40 PhD students, and he is having 45 to 50 years of teaching experience. He is a very, uh, very senior professor in our department, with, uh, whom we have, and uh, he is taking classes for B.Tech and M.Techs also. And the second one is Dr. Rama Vaidinathan. She is also a, um, a PhD holder. Initially, she was the head of the department when we started the department. And she is a molecular biologist and bioinformatics. And from the uh, from the video, you would have uh, seen her. She has now become the director R and D, and uh, she is looking after the Atul Kalam uh, Center for Research uh, and Innovation and Entrepreneurship, where uh, our students goes there and do their final year project. And uh, budding entrepreneurs are actually coming from. Uh, from help, uh, Ma'am is helping for the budding entrepreneurs in future. So people, our students uh, go there for the research and uh, other uh, activities, other academic activities, and uh, 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 faculty members from there also comes here to take classes for, the, for us. Third one is Dr. Vijay Lakshmi Madam. Vijay Lakshmi Madam is also a senior professor in our department. And she has guided almost 10 PhD students, and she's having a publications of uh, some 30, 40 publications she is having. She is also taking classes for our BTEC and uh, uh, MTech students, a very senior professor in our department, uh, having um, 20 years of teaching experience. The uh, next one is Dr. Gomati. Now she will be interacting with you after my interaction. She is my, our uh, uh, additional HOD and uh, she has done postdoc research from Canada and she has guided two PhD students and uh, uh, her field of specialization is protein chemistry and drug delivery. She is also a senior professor in our department who has guided so many uh, BTEC and MTEC projects and published almost nearly 30 publications. Next one is Dr. Caroline Jibba, ma'am. She is also one of our senior professor in our department who was at uh, present uh, working in environmental biochemistry and guiding so many uh, research students in the B.Tech and M.Tech level. And she, she has brought 25 to 30 publications in her credit. And uh, she, uh, she concentrates on uh, the environmental science papers, which is, give, which is uh, given in our syllabus. So many, uh, uh, her field of research, uh, apart from environmental biochemistry, she is well versed in phytochemistry of medicinal plants also. And Dr. Kausalya, Dr. Kausalya is our international coordinator. Uh, she takes class for us, she do research for us, and also she helps the students to go uh, to international internship. So many of our students have gone international intern internship with the help of Kausalya Madam. She looks after the international uh, office of international relationship. 
apart from the internship she also uh, she also helps in uh, students going for their abroad studies after their btech many students wanted to do their studies in abroad where uh, they meet kausalya madam and kausalya madam is having so having uh, contact with so many so many abroad universities in the form of mou where she uh, helps students uh, to go abroad to pursue their higher studies uh, with uh, with uh, with scholarship and other uh, amenities so uh, students uh, always have interaction with kausalya madam as far as uh, international studies are concerned apart from that she also publish papers she has 10 papers in her credit and she works in microbiology environmental microbiology and uh, she has guided many students and dr k sujatha uh, dr k sujatha is uh, is is also one of our professors who work in aquatic science and uh, guides guides many students in our department and uh, dr mahesh was there with us and now she he left our uh, university he is uh, is not uh, connected with us but uh, he also he is our phd student and he helped uh, many uh, btech and mtech project students to pursue their project and he has published many papers and he helped their publication uh, of student projects dr arun kumar dr arun kumar already you have seen in the video he is actually connected with entrepreneurship uh, that is he is in dr kalam research center now and uh, he helps students in patenting their products he uh, helps them to uh, to become a successful entrepreneur how to become a successful entrepreneur apart from that he helps to patent their products whether something patent is nothing but uh, it is a this uh, uh, the discovery what you have done will be will belong to you only how to make it uh, uh, belong to you that the work is done by uh, uh, patent related things which which is done by dr arun kumar and uh, we have uh, dr reena das ma'am um, santosh kumar kritika uh, dr priya kartikeyan they are all our uh, associate and assistant professors who have joined just now with us like 2017 almost 3 years over and they are also at present guiding students and publication in publications also so these junior staff they are all junior staffs and dr k j sharmila madam is very senior uh, staff who is with us uh, for the past 20 years and she is also uh, she is a marine biologist she she done she has done her project in remote sensing in marine biology where uh, you can find uh, she she will help you to find where there is a very high population of fish is there prawn is there like that uh, she will help you uh, by means of remote sensing she will help you to find out the place where the microbial population or the uh, animal population is more in the sea that uh, that work she will be doing and our uh, anthony uh, xavier bronson uh, he is also associated with us for the past 20 years and he is actually a computer person who was associated with us uh, and he teaches all the computer paper uh, in our department added to that one more uh, uh, one more uh, uh, thing what i have to tell about uh, anthony sir is he is a place placement coordinator he helps you in getting placement in uh, Uh, biotech as well as other companies so he is very popular among the students uh, being a placement coordinator so remaining people are very young people uh, like uh, anant babu dr priya da srinivasan sri devi deepa lakshmi sindhu and one more uh, person two more person have joined uh, now with us dr uh, dr kalidas and dr shanmugam priya who have joined with us now at present this year they are joined and they are also very highly experienced people they have joined now once you come to our department you will be knowing all our uh, staff members and their specializations one thing i wanted to share with you people is all of our uh, department people are almost 90% people are doctorate holders and the remaining 10% also they have already registered for their phd so they have a uh, they have a taste of doing research see though academics is one one i for us research is also an 
important eye for us. So uh, we survive because of our research. The, uh, Madam told, uh, Udaykala Madam told the biotechnology department is a very elite department in the university. That is because of our research credential. We, uh, we, uh, we uh, our, our staff members help in students reaching their goal uh, of publishing paper in the uh, very well renowned uh, journals. That is because of our staff members only people who are able to uh, be able to publish papers and paper publication is one of the mandate for going abroad uh, for their higher studies. This is uh, initially I wanted to tell about our staff members. So I, I gave a gist of our staff members. Next, I can uh, move on to uh, the, the department profile. All, all, almost you have seen uh, that um, in the in the uh, in the almost the department video tells you tells you about um, the department video tells you about uh, about uh, the department profile but still i wanted to tell you something about our uh, our department, other achievements of our department. Uh, one minute. One minute, one minute, students. Students, wait. Uh, Ma'am has to share the screen. Is it visible? Yes. Okay. Is it visible, ma? Am I audible and is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Perfect, ma'am. Okay. So actually, uh, I would uh, uh, go into the real academics of our department. Actually, any uh, uh, when you come inside, we ha you have to know about our vision and mission of our department. Our vision is just to stimulate the economic growth by creating an environment and uh, environment which will help you to produce so many products and. Uh, uh, processes as well as industrial products innovative industrial product and processes so that uh, you will be helping the society 
uh, uh, for the upliftment of the society, you have to uh, produce some products and processes. That is our, our main vision. And for uh, acquiring our vision, we continuously we will be thriving, or we will be working continuously in the form of research and development, and uh, make the our vision to come true. That is, yeah, any something related, something we have to do to the society in the form of product or pro process for achieving that vision. Continuously, we will be working in and around through our research projects, and we will be. Promoting our uh, vision, and this fund we will always do it in the uh, in the in the form of encouraging the students' intellectual curiosity, individual opportunity. We will be giving always. We make our students to work in in an integrated manner, in a truthful manner, and in the empathy. Empathy. I think you all know about the about the term empathy. Empathy means whatever you feel difficult for you, you should. Feel that is difficult for others also. That is called as empathy. One of the other question thrown is that that when the other people come, question ma, you go, I bring that the ni one or no. That is what is difficult for you. Yes, always difficult for others also. That concept is called as empathy. So always we work in empathy, and everything we usually do it with the fun. So making learning a fun, fun uh, always fun, fun uh, based learning only we used to give to the students. Okay, this is our. Vision, mission, and core values. And we started our department in uh, uh, 2003. We conducted the first graduation in 2007. The first national symposium was conducted in 2008. And the funded project we got the first funded project in 2009. And all our faculty now the uh, college education has become outcome based education. That is, what is the outcome? Uh, uh, We, we are doing so that outcome based for for teaching the outcome based education the wipro 10x uh, program is mandatory so that company they gave our all our staff members a training of how to teach outcome based program so all our faculty members have trained wipro 10x program train for teaching the outcome based education which is actually a mandate one in the education system now so in 2013 we got another dbt project in 2014 one of the accreditation iso accreditation we obtained is mm -hmm. sorry to interrupt ma'am it is in first first page itself the slide is showing pardon on first page da ma'am theriyudhu all agala इलेमी अक्रेडेशन पायसो and uh, it's a quality accreditation whether uh, we are teaching everything in a quality manner the, that will be tested by the iso team so we got 2014 the uh, quality accreditation 2016 nac we got it is a ugc accreditation for university we got that and the nba accreditation it is um, exclusively for the department and we already we have uh, they gave the accreditation for 3 years second accreditation we have gone on 2021 that also we got accreditation and for now we have applied for 2022 also and um, it's a prestigious accreditation which is obtained by our department from uh, from uh, american board of engineering and technology which is an international accreditation obtained 
uh, yeah, by our department, only few universities uh, have uh, um, are uh, obtained this accreditation, and we I am very proud to say that we are the first. Uh, department all over India who have acc accredited in the ABET as far as biotechnology is concerned. So this is your accreditation part and uh, due to lack of time, I'm moving very fast. And this is the international universities we have signed. If you want to study in these, in these uh, universities, you can very well contact Kausalya Madam. You will get scholarship and you can go for higher studies in these universities. And uh, this is our already I told you all our staff members are research oriented people, and these are these are our our research uh, research uh, domains we uh, concentrate and resistant free radical biology and animal biotechnology, phytochemistry, herbal biotechnology, etc. So these are all the research, so many domains. Or each and every staff member is uh, is uh, is actually. Differently, uh, they, are, they, they, they have their own domain and they'll be specialized in their own domain. If domain you want to share, you want to take, you want to specialize, you can contact that particular teacher and you can finish, uh, you, you can uh, proceed your uh, academic uh, research. So these are all the lab facilities we have. Already I have, you have seen in the video. Uh, these are all the equipment we have, specialized equipment, which is meant for practical as well as uh, uh, research you, you have and these are all the laboratory equipments students are working in the laboratory equipment and uh, already our students have gone for in uh, this is this, these are all the students uh, our students have gone for their higher studies so these are the places our students have gone for higher studies and these are the companies that alumni are placed so due to lack of time, I'm going very fast. I'm not going to tell the testimonial of alumni and all. If you want, you can come in the department, it is there. And we have got so many faculty development programs. Faculties are continuously trained to, to face the academic challenges, present day academic challenges. And students are also given opportunities to improve their uh, skills. So these are all the guest lectures we have organized for, uh, for students. Every year we conduct BioZone, a symposium, and, uh, and, uh, and Sarva Sastra, a conference to showcase their students' knowledge and show students' uh, potentials. Apart from that, outsiders will come and teach you what is the recent uh, trends which is happening in the biotechnology department. This is the Hetic. Heticon is the international conference we conducted with, uh, with 5,000 participants. And um, this is the international activities. Our students have gone for the international, uh, uh, either for their workshop internship or for their uh, competitions, they have gone. These are the things. So they have gone and they have uh, they have studied the certain things. These are the industrial visits we have organized for our students. Um, so this is as uh, every every February 28th we celebrate National Science Day. These are all the National Science Day celebrations we conducted with our department. Each time with the different uh, different uh, uh, different uh, topic we used to celebrate green energy. We celebrated plastic awareness, flu like that. This is an organic garden our students have created. Uh, and uh, where we cultivate, uh, we, 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 we teach the students about the organic farming and cultivation, etc. So with this, I uh, this is one of some of the uh, some of the some of the. Some of the highlights of our department and. Uh, um, uh, Remaining, regarding the syllabus, curriculum and all, I think one another day, some another day, some other day, I can tell you about the syllabus, curriculum, what and all you have to do, what and all you have to study, how to project your, 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 your things and all, I will tell you in the next, some other day. Now I would uh, request Gomati Madam to tell some words about our department. There are all the teachers, all the staff members are interested in meeting you and telling something about our department, but they are all involved in classes. We conduct, we have lab practicals they are conducting, so they are very busy. So definitely one more session 
uh, we will uh, we will arrange and uh, we will interact with all the students all the staff members will be interacting with you soon okay now i request gomati ma'am to tell something about our department thank you raji ma'am hi all um it's very i'm very much delighted to welcome you all for our department um even though we couldn't meet uh, face to face the online platform we are making it's uh, much delighted and very happy to welcoming you all for our department uh, myself dr gomati i am a deputy head and professor in department of biotechnology i been associated in the department for the past uh, 11 years uh first let me introduce myself i have done my uh, doctorate from central leather research institute in the field of uh, bioorganic and neurochemistry after that i served as a post doctoral fellow in university of saskatchewan in canada after that i joined our eminent department department of biotechnology in the year 2009 from 2009 i been associated in the department um to begin with our department it is a finely crafted department when compared to all over the tamil nadu even if you see the ratings everything our department is highly rated we have most of the sophisticated instrument are uh, those instrument are not just kept on the table we ask our students to do lot of work on that explore we ask our students to explore so that they invite the research activities and apart from that what are all other activities we do to these students already as ma'am said um, we uh, we um, what to say we sponsored our students so many students we sponsored to uh, explore various uh, foreign university once i have taken the students to italy in the university of pisa to attend the same workshop our management has taken utmost care to the students uh, in order to explore in all the ways not only study not only books uh, we don't give knowledge through books we give knowledge by exploring in so many aspects as i said uh, exploring foreign university we motivate our students to participate in msme we motivate you from the right from the first year to be a entrepreneur also to stand on your own legs right from the day you enter into the university so we we give lot of training regarding the entrepreneurship program and uh, through these dst iedc they give some amount of funding for your uh, i mean uh, for your concept and they'll make you to make it as a project and and they give it to the other industries and make you a entrepreneur apart from that you can also get a government sponsorship through msme that also we guide you to do uh, apart from that not only the btech means only uh, you come and you study six years and two practicals and go home and write exam it is not just like that we give other trainings like if you have any problem in the gate uh, writing exam or if you have problem in the gre uh, writing or in the ielts or any other uh, competitive exams we will guide you and we will show you the necessity path to uh, to proceed with that and uh, we make you to participate in uh, various hackathons programs organized by aacp so that it will nurture all the exploring skills and whatever the skills you have these hackathons will help you it will nurture you all the competitive skills which is hidden in you and if you won in hackathon the government of india is providing 50 lakhs for your projects so it's a such a wonderful opportunity for a student to participate in a city hackathon in order to motivate that our entrepreneurial department shapes you in or more or all the way so that you can bag come you can bang with the award and also these hackathons help you in most of it to come out uh, your intellectual knowledge uh, i would like to assure you that our department shapes you in all the way to come out with colorful wings and thank you guys i am much delighted to see you in person 
and once again i am welcoming you all for our department of biotechnology dr ngia educational research institute thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you dr rajeshwari hari ma'am and dr gomati ma'am for enlightening our students <laughs> Ma'am, ma one more staff member, Dr. Caroline Jabba, ma'am, also will be telling something to our students, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Yes. Good morning to all dear students. Ma'am, explain me uh, about my uh, uh, degrees, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, welcome to our department. i want to say a uh, simple thing uh, keep your goal go towards that goal and uh, you can create uh, your own talent don't mm -hmm. talk others ideas shine mm -hmm. in your own ideas all the best thank you so much thank you jabba ma'am abhinaya ma'am what has to be done now ma'am I'm just simply a uh, water, water fans, man. That's all, man. Water fans. Uh, you between or uh, you you wanted uh, somebody to give? No, oh, here we are, each man. Okay. Now okay. I request our viewers, Gita, man, to deliver the water fans. Uh, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. This is Doctor Yes Gita, Assistant Professor of Chemistry. Dr. M. J. R. Educational and Research Institute, Madurai, Chennai. I feel honored and privileged to deliver a vote of thanks on this occasion. First and foremost, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our founder, Chancellor, through A. C. Shanmugam Sir and Engineer A. C. Arun Kumar Sir. Next, I would like to thank our Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. S. Geeta Lakshmi Ma'am, and also would like to thank our Registrar. Professor Dr. C. B. Palaniwelu, sir. I am happy to thank our joint registrar, Dr. V. Cyril Raj, sir, Dr. D. B. Jabaraj, sir, and all our executives. My heartfelt thanks to our dean, E. N. S. Dr. N. S. Subhashree, ma'am, and our entire first-year faculty team for continuous support. It gives me an immense pleasure to thank Head of Biotechnology, Dr. Rajeshwari Hari, ma'am. for the wonderful session and it, it is a pleasure dr gomati a ma'am and the entire faculty of biotechnology for the heavy cooperation finally i would like to thank our future engineers for attending the program thank you thank you geeta ma'am and once again thank you all for joining this session thank you all